crew of the Targo plot again. We're going to do the same setup as last week because you're so terrible at it. They make the grips, jump up to knee on the belly. And I want that reaction of Carl trying to push my knee off his belly. The right hand lets go of the belt, finds the underhook, and I physically let him push my knee off. Hand pushes over the head, and I put my knee in the mat. So the Targapada is set up when he's on the side. I have to have him on the side. Carl puts his back on the mat again. I don't have it. So I want to be pinching my knees. So there's our basic, let's turn this way, bro. There's our basic Khmer grip here, okay, for the Tarka Plata. I just bring my left hand in, and grab the lapel and my collar, and then I just pinch my elbow to my body. This puts tension in his arm and allows me to open up the lapel, and then I just pass it over the wrist from my right hand to my left hand. And then the detail was I bring my left elbow to my body. There's a lot of slack in Carl's arm there. Right hand grabs the knee, pushes knees down, and then I lean to my left and I physically get my leg over. Okay. Once I have my leg over, I let go of the lapel, find my thigh, and from there I put my right hand on the mat, and then to finish, I sit on Carl, my left foot's planted, and then from there I'm physically pushing my right foot towards his head as I'm smearing my butt on, on him and I'm bringing my butt towards the ass as I lift my elbow. So that's where we got to last week, okay? Again, sometimes from here, if I don't sit back at him far enough and I'm a little bit unstable, Carl can bridge me in two directions. The first one is to my right and I end up in this position. Now, if I'm not being careful about the placement of this leg, Carl can just pull his arm out and I still have the chimera. I want the target ladder. So from there, I'm curling my right foot as if I'm going for a normal platter, and I want my right foot pointing towards his head. The other thing I'm thinking about is I still want my hand on the thigh. If it's blowing around in the wind here and it's sort of halfway between my legs, you get this feeling you're wrist locking yourself. Yeah. So we're going to reverse car. How do I do this? The two main problem is when I sweep him back the other way, I don't want him landing on my feet. So I have a free right hand that's going to grab the pants. My left leg goes over the back of his head and I point my right foot towards his head. Now the pressure of my hamstring pushing on his head physically will roll car and I end up in this position here. Now the detail is, um, just put your back in the mud car. See the way my foot, my leg is under his head, which means it's free. Now when you drill this, you might do it so that car lands on your leg and then you won't be able to come up. So that's the detail there. The other detail is my right foot isn't underneath him either. It's come out of his left hip. So from there, I physically put my hand on the mat, come back up again, and I'm into the platter again. So we just reverse it. Some of you guys are new tonight, I would just do the setup, which you missed last week because there's a lot in that. Turn this way, bro. So, from here, I go to the knee on belly. The minute he pushes my knee off, I win the underhook and I let him push my knee to the mat. I push down on his head, I step around, pinching my knees, and then I get Camera control. I find the lapel. More than likely, Carl's going to grab his belt, his pants, or hand to hand. Either is acceptable. Once I have this, I look for the lapel. I pass it over from my right to my left and then I bring Carl's elbow towards my hip. As I lean to my left, I control the knee so he doesn't catch me in half guard and I physically throw this leg over and from there I let go of the lapel, find my thigh, put my hand on the mat and I'm into the target platter position but now Carl bridges and puts me on my back. So yes, I can switch to the Camera but I can reverse this again. So the, again, the main thing is, I don't want this leg over Carl's back because when I roll him, I won't be able to bring it out. And if I leave this leg here, it's gonna end up under his back. So I make the grip with my right hand. I physically turn this foot towards his head as if I'm going for like a normal platter. And this leg's over, the back of my knee's over the back of Carl's head. 
I just push his head down and I physically roll him over his left shoulder. And now I'm back up into the Tarako Plata. I can also get bridged the other way and if that happens I don't want to be getting face planted so I will roll with it. Carl pushes my knee off, I find the underhook, I step around, I get into the Khmer position, setting up, I get to here, only instead of Carl bridging um, backwards, he's going to bridge me forwards and we end up. Now if Carl doesn't roll with me, just roll over bro, I still have it on this side. I don't need to do anything. <laughs> Let's go again. So, from here, we step over, get in my position, here, bring this across, control the knees. More than likely, the bridge will be behind you, if that makes sense. It's unusual that the bridge will be forward, but if he does bridge and roll me over and I end up here, it's the same stuff, you're still in the back. So you want to get into this um, habit of when I get to here, I'm just going to reverse it again. So you just grab the pants, turn my foot, push his head down, and physically roll over, and I'm back up into the tire cover. 